did you just see that? Yes, my pins are finally out, you guys. And I'm so excited that by the time I'm talking to you guys, they are up in my shop right now. You can find them in my Etsy shop. Link is down below and they just look so amazing. I was really, really stressed. They wouldn't come out the way I wanted it because I didn't try this manufacturer before but they were just so amazing they are, are so cute if you physically touch them it's just I'm just so proud of the outcome and now I'm just gonna have a review of when I'm talking about them so here is a pen you guys it's just so cute it's so cute okay you can't really see something because front camera just doesn't do any justice but they're literally the cutest pins ever like the orange color okay all the colors are actually matte so with the goldish outline for the enamel pin it just makes it so stunning and it pops really well with everything you just wear even if it's like far angle but like look at this oops it just fell down anyways um just yeah it's good so is this is was like a test quality too of course it's not gonna break because it's metal but anyways it's just so cute like I'm so happy I went through that design I mean it's all thanks to you guys because you guys chose it for me so I'm so happy I got to design this it literally just match any clothes I wore and I just can't wait to see where this cutie is gonna go for her other new houses and who's gonna adopt her there's already one that has been taken with from my friend because she really wanted to uh, see the first impressions with me and how the quality like came out so she was the first one to grab one so shout out to her Winona you know who you are anyways so yeah also I've designed the backing card for it so it's that purple dark purple backing card so it will like the main attraction would be the enamel pin it's just here has the logo and here the name of the pin which is Marmalade because I did a series like all of you know and this was like the mom of them so it's a Marmalade enamel pin and then down here below you can find my Etsy shop my Instagram since they follow the same name and my name too Yasmin since I'm the one who designed it and the, the three cutie oranges right here so it's a really simple backing card but it matches the pin really well so yeah this is how it turned out so thank you mom and Lates, for giving me this chance moving on to the other two things that I want to do for this vlog uh, oh yeah I didn't really have a proper entry for this vlog anyways it's my I don't know what number of vlog is this but welcome to another vlog mom and late and I hope you guys will enjoy what I'm gonna do in this video so what I'm gonna do next is first design my monthly sticker and for this month which is May I'm gonna be doing the bunny stickers as I did a poll on Instagram after Easter and asking if this should be my next month sticker and most of you guys said yes so this month sticker is gonna be a bunny so I'm gonna go right now and start designing it on a sketch first and then later on I'll digitalize right now um, for my next thing that I want to get you guys through is um, as you guys saw from my Instagram I was designing my own character but related to Asterix the comic series I designed three characters a girl a guy and a pet so my the guy was my main focus 
and I did a lot of researches for pose and expressions on that guy. His name is Brynas, by the way. So right now, I actually loved the outcome and the, also the progress during this assignment. And I really wanted to take that assignment and turn it into something else. So I thought about turning some of his um, actions into postcards. And I chose one, especially one action. You guys are going to see it later when I'm editing it. So anyways, I'm just going to put a picture here while I'm talking of what am I taking you guys through in case you didn't see my Instagram post or anything. So yeah, these are the three characters. So the guy is the one that I'm going for and I'm thinking of taking his face expressions and turning it into a sticker collection. But of course, I will have to color all this uh, process because during assignment, you didn't really have to color all of them. You just color the, these lineup characters. So yeah, right now I have to color the face expressions, get them ready for turning into a sticker design later on and turning one of his actions into a postcard or like an art print. Uh, usually my art prints will come in a postcard size because I don't like it to be too huge and also for this it's going to be much more cuter if it's in a postcard size. So that's what I'm going to do. And I think these are the two products that I'm going to have for this assignment. Maybe I will also have one uh, postcard set for the whole process together, which I will include um, the character lineup for anyone who wants to grab all three characters together. And the introduction for my character, my character expressions, everything literally, but they're all going to be in a postcard collection size. So yeah, I'm just going to get this all ready for uh, printing. everyone so today is the next day and now I'm on the way to get all my designs that I've shown you guys the progress of yesterday printed out and I'm so happy because I will have these designs now in my hand really soon uh, not only digital I kind of can expect the outcome of these postcards stickers whatever because I've used this printer shop as my um, fast printing place since I can print in two uh, places there is a company and there's a shop usually I would go for the shop because it's like way faster so I kind of can expect the quality of it and I'm so just excited to see how my um, shark postcard will come out because I really really love that one yeah so I will show you guys later a review when I get all of them done Stay tuned! Okay guys, so I just came back from pinching and they all look so good but there's one thing that I was like okay, let me just show you everything and then I will say which one was that Oh my god one so this is like my monthly planner so it's the same material that i used for the last one the paper is kind of like has that texture that looks as if it's a leather paper but it's not leather of course but i mean it really is unique for the monthly planner so for it it's the same design i just changed the patterns to carrots since it's the rabbit month kind of yeah, so this one is okay. It's already good quality. And then there's 
these character expressions of mine that I colored, I made them into transparent sticker paper. So I'm gonna cut them out by myself and they're gonna have like their own collection with the postcards and everything. And then there is the oh my god one was this one. Oh my god, look at how big the rabbits are. I just resized them to fill up my A4 paper and I forgot <laughs> about that they're gonna become so huge. So when she gave me the sticker paper, I was like, that is so huge. Like, I think these are one of the huge stickers that I ever printed out. It's still cute, but I would have liked it if it was in a smaller size. But I mean, it still works. You can put it in like your planner. I was hoping that you can put it on your monthly planner like this paper above like Sunday. You can still put it, but it's gonna like, can it? Oh my God, like, I don't think it can. It's like the ears are like popping out of this thing. It's like, it's exactly the same height if you're gonna put it on that paper. But of course you can put it anywhere else. I mean, they come in a set for a reason that they are in the same theme. But this should make me remember later on that they should have a standard size, which is, was the same size as the Koala, because it was pretty good. And then for the last ones, which are like my postcards. So I made a postcard collection for the whole uh, character design and I said that I'm gonna sell them as a package itself so I printed the cover paper and then the character lineup with the brightness description and then character expressions and actions and I kept them um, the black and white um, not black and white like um, the grayish tone because I didn't want them to be colored since that was originally my progress for this character so if someone wants it you should take as the progress that I did it and this one which is like so cute which is the postcard that I did for the shark guy and it really the colors are just like so cute I like that it's like simple design since the main attraction is on the guy and there's like a little bubble or I don't know circle and he's saying I got you some sharkies since he's holding the shark thingy it just looks so cute and of course I've put the logo where is it yeah there I've put the logo for what I designed for this collection so yeah I'm proud of how this collection all is going for my character design and it's ready for me putting it on the shop I don't know when I'm trying to prepare as much products as I can uh, during this holiday so when I start doing assignments again I would have a lot of products that I can put in my shop by time and I don't have to um, redesign stuff only restock if they get sold out so yeah anyways thank you guys for watching this vlog and it came to an end right now I you've seen all my progress of restocking new products into my shop and it will be most of them uh, will be live like my enamel pins that I've shown you guys at the start of this video as well as my bunny monthly planner but you I think you're gonna wait for my um, character uh, collection to be published so yeah see you in my next vlog guys